All glory, honor, and adoration be unto God for this day. We rejoice in the Lord for all what God has been bringing to us. We pray that the good Lord will continue to be with us, uphold us, heal our land, heal our world, heal, heal those that are sick, and give us all peace in the land of the living. Today, we want to look at Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. This Bible passage, the writer of the Hebrews is telling us that Jesus existed yesterday, he is existing now, and he will continue to exist. We can see that all the troubles that we have been going through is something else. But we believe that God will surely see us through. But what you and I should do is to put our trust in the Lord because he's the only one who can help us. And as we put our trust in him, he will surely, he will surely be with us and remove all these evils from us in the name of Jesus Christ. Looking at the passage, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today and forever. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He came to save us. He came to give us joy and good things of life. And when we look at Proverbs chapter 8 from verse 22, we have been told that Jesus, the wisdom of God had been there from the beginning. When God created heaven and earth, when God created oceans, trees, animals, and every other thing. It is this Jesus that came to die for our sins, who has, who is now on the right hand of the Father, interceding for us, and at the same time, he has gone to prepare a place for us. Yes, COVID-19, challenges of life, troubles of life, should not shift our attention from him because he's the only one who can help us. Also, looking at Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, it says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down at, he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So this passage in Hebrews 12, verse 2, is telling us to look unto him alone. You know, in the wilderness, when the people sinned, God sent fairy serpent to them. But Jesus Christ is now being raised on the cross so that you and I, when we look at him, we will be saved. And so people of God, he also said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by him. So, with all this, we have been assured that we surely get over all this. And so, every day you make sure that you plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon yourself and upon your family members. Give thanks to him always. Tell yourself, fear not. Because fear can kill. Fear can destroy. And always, I want you to pray. Read the Bible because you are precious before the Lord. Look unto him for your healing. Look unto him for your daily bread. Look unto him concerning your family. Look unto him concerning your finances. And all shall be well in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, we magnify you. We say you are good, you are kind, you are generous. The Lord God Almighty is your name. And so, we pray that you forgive us all our sins. Give us the grace to know you more and more. Give us the grace to serve you, serve you better. And I pray for you according to Isaiah chapter 54 from verse 13. And all your children shall be taught by the Lord. And grace shall be the peace of your children in the name of Jesus Christ. God is telling you that in righteousness that he will establish you. He, you will be far from oppression and fear and from terror no terror will come near you in the name of jesus christ even if people gather because of you they will fall because of you no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper 
in the name of Jesus. We pray for our leaders that peace will be with them. Those at the forefront, evil will not befall them. Our spiritual leaders, glory, honor, and adoration of the Lord shall be upon them. And I am telling you, fear not, rejoice in the Lord, bless his holy name, and we will surely overcome this COVID-19 and all other troubles and challenges in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.